others are putting me out of business. Nothing but trouble. That's all there is in Banuk lands. I heard you talking about trouble in Banuk lands. <sighs> Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? <laughs> Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Some Asaram girl. Ha! <laughs> you sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village, too. What's it for? We must put our faith in him. Trust Araya, they say. She'll return to us. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors. Lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. 
Our enemies. Our prey. Hmm. The Daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Aurea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aurea vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her, but no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Araya or Thunder's Drum. Might be worth a shot. Bandits and... I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? You're set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. That must be Naltuk looking out at that tower. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Burgrind told me you'd be out here. Do about these towers. In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the Katamon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. All right, you want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is.
You are quite the war. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. You claimed the its power next. for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the path? ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the vo voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Pretty far up. The shaman's path must be right. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. Heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Another marker. Good.
Not this way. But then, where? I see. Up. Done with the cave. So what's next on this path? This one. <clears throat> Where's the way up? I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay, the bridge is filling up. Bergen wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly.
reaching that tower to override it. be the shrine now Tuke was talking about. I guess I should take some blue gold. Blue gold's head. I can see why it's worth a lot. Now Tuke said a ray went past the shrine up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. An ancient door. Maybe a ray is inside. this place. Locked. Maybe my focus can help. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? These things turn, changing the flow of light.
fresh air ahead. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak! How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Aurea? 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 Aurea?
Ash. I will not submit. Orea, the Daemon is forcing me. brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. I'm Aloy. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Now I know for certain revelation spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit. Captured, somehow, by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and we figure can't. out what it all means? Thunder's Drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides... Our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an out... An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known <sighs> Wait, among the uh, Werak. Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend, Sekuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. From a challenge? Whatever's happening in Thunder's Drum. And apparently, this is the only way I'll get to see a challenge. It. You? <laughs> this must be a it joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery.
I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. Araya, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratak. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost figures, then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of a new hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost figures, here I come. Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. Let us go to Thunderstrom. You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it. I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground. Enough! Let us begin. To hunt. To strive. That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this, so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well... Yes. And as Challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Like there are a few ways to go up, and those rock paintings mark the path. Okay, up we go. Come on, then. Come on, Aloy, 
time's wasting. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. Almost to the top. All right, Challenger. You need to take out the herd below. Every machine. Kill a herd. Okay. I can do that. Climb the ridge and launch your balloon! <sighs> Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Two bellowbacks ahead, Challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. All right, two dead bellowbacks coming up. but only by a little. I gotta get moving. Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. Storm's kicking up. Can't see much. Close now. Almost down. All right, to the last challenge. Something's wrong. My kin should be here, driving in our final quarry.
So it's true. Frost Claws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines. Not I. It is proven. She is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. Sends the new outfit. And a weapon like Aratox. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum.